Our first speaker is Roland. He wants to change the nature of names in C++, so he has five minutes to explain what he means by that and why it might be a good idea. Roland's head of development at PPRO Financial and the author of SQL PP11, which is a library for type safe SQL in C++. And uh, you can hear about that in Gauss later today. Right. Good morning. So this is basically a summary of, a, of an open session on, on Monday. Um, it's called Mixins, and it's wishful thinking. So this is a simple struct, nothing special about it, pretty boring. It has a single member with a fixed type and a fixed name. Um, but since we are at a C++ conference and we're doing everything with templates here, uh, let's add a template to that. Um, now we have a configurable type and a configurable, no, wait a second, not a configurable name, because we cannot configure names via templates, for instance. Um, but I would like to do that. So I would really like to do this. Um, say we have a template and we uh, instantiate it with a type and a name. And then, that's, that's my first wish. So then we could have a, a member with a configurable type and a configurable name. Now this example is pretty boring, but um, just imagine for a second uh, what we could do with it, for instance, uh, like this. If we could reason about names like we could do about tag types, then we could have a name tuple, very simple. Um, in this case, yeah, well, it's a name tuple. Uh, types would have an inner, an inner type, this member type, would have an inner name, uh, which would then be a member name. And then with verdict expansion, you could have a name tuple. And it's instead of accessing members uh, with an index, like you do right now, or with, uh, with a type, as you do it in C++14, you would uh, use members, uh, member names, like normal struct. And if that doesn't convince you, um, please come to Gauss at 9. I will show you real-world use cases, what you could do with it. All right, so that was names, and my other wish uh, is, about, is about this. Let's talk about CR CRTP for a second. CRTP is weird, and I think it's, it's just the wrong model for what you want to achieve. So you have inheritance, you, uh, you have a type hierarchy, and you don't want this type hierarchy because the base class is your base class and yours alone. Nobody will ever use this specific base class again except for you. Um, <clears throat> also, if you want to reason about the derived class in the base class, for instance, for, for type checking, uh, making sure that the derived class is actually some, uh, something which should be using this base class, you cannot do this because the derived class is only instantiated after the base class is instantiated. So, well, this wouldn't even compile the static assert because the compiler will tell you that, okay, derived doesn't have a value even though you wrote it down there exactly like this. Um, <clears throat> And third, if you want to return a reference to this object or a pointer, you would use some kind of static cast. And static cast, well, if you see that in the code, then you normally know, okay, there's something fishy going on here. So three reasons why this is, I think, the wrong model to achieve what, you, what we achieve with um, CRTP. So my second wish is let's have mixins. A mixin would look like a struct, or it could be a template, of course, um, and the idea is that we are using mixins like we use it um, here at the, at the bottom, calling using mixin, whatever name we gave it. And then we, um, the idea is that the compiler just copies the body of the mixin to the place where we use it and then compiles it. Right? That would be cool because then suddenly we get rid of all this weirdness. We would have no inheritance anymore. Okay. Um, we would have, we, it was, we would be very simple to have the, the static assert because at the place where the code is now, after the copying, well, the value is just there, just right there. You, so we could do the static assert. And if we want to return this, well, we just return this. So it's very easy. And all the, all the awkwardness of CRTP oops, um, that you see here, that's gone. Right? So I would really like to have mixins. And if you like, Either of these two ideas, or both of them, even better, uh, come to me, talk to me, send me emails, let's get in touch. 
Thank you very much.